well I've just picked up this cool little trapping kit. Um, you can get them from my to 10 hunting and fishing, you can get them from your local school. They're just 10 bucks and they're a really great little kit to help you get started to do your bit towards predator free taranaki and trapping rats in your own backyard. So let's have a look and see what's inside. Inside we've got a box and this will be the little trapping box where you put your trap inside. Inside that, oh, we've got some gloves. That's really handy so you don't get anything yucky on your hands. And we've got a trap, a T-Rex rat trap. These are great because they're easy to set and easy to get rid of any animals once you've caught them. Right, we'll pop that aside. And what else? We've got some instructions. This will tell you all about the Towards, towards Predator-Free Taranaki program. Um, and also gives you some tips about how to trap rats in your house, how to set the traps, and some tips about how to record what you catch once you've got it. Oh, and there's also a wonderful little sticker. Now this is great, you can pop it on your letterbox or on your fence and let all your neighbours know that you're working towards um, predator-free taranaki. First thing is to set up our trap. So to do that, we want to think like a rat. Um, rats like to skulk around in vegetation and around like garden sheds and bits and pieces in your garden. You might not think you have rats, but because they're active at night, they're probably out there doing things that you don't even know about. So, we want to put our trap in a place where we think there's going to be a rat. First things first, hop on our gloves. You want to grab some bait. Now the thing that I find is really handy is peanut butter. For some reason, the rats in my garden like crunchy peanut butter. So it doesn't need to be expensive. Any old peanut butter will do, but crunchy's pretty good. Grab your trap, grab your peanut butter and your box, and let's go find a place to set this trap. Rats like compost heaps. So if you've got one in your garden, then it's a great place to target to get rats. They also like sheds. They like to stay warm and dry during the day, just like we do. So um, it's another great place to put your trap along fence lines, along the sides of, of sheds. So we place our box. It's got a little opening at one end where the animal can get in. And it's got this little slidey fence at the other end that keeps the trap um, contained within the box so that your pets like cats, dogs, and kids um, won't accidentally access the trap. So you want to put the entrance somewhere where you think a rat might access it. So somewhere next to a shed like this, and pop it there, and we're expecting our rat to sort of come around the corner and sniff out the bait that we're going to put in the trap and go inside. We'll remove the back end will take our trap and the great little things with these traps is that you don't need to touch any animals or actually get your get your hands dirty at all they've got a neat little plug on the bottom where you put the bait so you can pull that out like that grab your peanut butter and you can use anything a spoon a knife a stick grab a nice knob of peanut butter Fill up the little plug, like that, and, and then just pop it back in and turn it around to lock it in. So then you'll see when you open up your trap that it's all nicely set. No fingers, no chance that you could get yourself snapped at all. Right, so to set the trap, you just push the ends of the trap back until you hear it click like that and then it's set so the rat comes in this way triggers this little paddle and snap right so what we want to do is because the entrance hole is at this end we want to make sure that the jaws of the trap are facing the entrance so we we pop pop it in the back of the box but not too far so we want the trap to sit right at the end at the back of the trap we pop our little Okay, back in, 
And there we go, our trap is set. The best thing to do is to check your trap, say every day, every couple of days, for the first week or so that you start trapping. Because you, you tend to catch most of your animals within the first couple of weeks. Um, after that, you can just check it every two to three weeks. So, we'll have a little look inside. And look at that, we've caught a sock rat. <laughs> so the great thing with these traps is that you don't actually have to touch the animal. So that makes them really, really handy for anybody to use. So once you've caught a rat, most people ask, what do we do with it? So there's a few things you can do. Um, the best thing, because it's biodegradable, you couldn't, can bury it in your garden. So you can dig a shallow little, a shallow little hole and then just as you set the trap, push the, push the blades together like that and drop the animal in and then you can bury them up. And that's it, end of rat. Otherwise, if you're not in a position where you can bury rats in your garden, um, you can pop them in your um, rubbish that goes to the refuse station. They're not recyclable, unless you put them in your garden. And now that we've caught a rat, the most important task is to make sure you log your catch. Just go on to Trap NZ. You can, it's a cool little free app on your phone. Go, on, go online and log your catch.